Okay, so you went on Google, looked for how to undervolt a uh, Ryzen 5800H, 5600H, something like that, and you eventually found out that it's not possible, right? Wrong. It's actually possible, it's just that people don't know what you're talking about. So, welcome back to Ultimate PSU. Today, we're gonna show you how to undervolt every Ryzen 5000 chips in laptops in existence. Let's go. Okay, so this is the actual baseline. Now we are simply running a CPU Z stress test, and I don't know if you can hear the fans, but they are at 100% fan speed. We are running at 4140 megahertz on average, and it's just going straight up at 100 degrees. Of course, this is what they designed for the notebook, so again, it shouldn't be harmful in theory because this laptop here specifically is brand new, but I don't think it's good for the life of your laptop, and we don't want that, so let's get straight into fixing it. Okay, so so let's get started with the actual undervolt now first thing you want to do is open up your browser and go look for aatu okay i will leave the link down below you want to open the first link it's this page it's an open source project that is aimed towards optimizing the turbo boost technology from amd now you scroll all the way down in the page until you find the release page on github click on it pulls up the release page click on windows download it will download it i have already downloaded it so let's go into download. Now, right here, it will be called the UXTU. You right click, extract it. It will be called UXTU Beta 8. You wanna open it and right click over here to open it. What you wanna do is quite simply go over here. You see, second slide. It will tell you here what your CPU is. And now you wanna go under here and click on balance. It will say that settings have been applied. Now we'll show you the actual results. You can do more in-depth testing if you want to. I will just show you. Oh, and I want to say the tutorial for the CPU undervolting is already finished. Okay, just do this and it's done. Now, let me show you how it works, okay? Let me go here, stress test it. It was going to 100 degrees a couple of seconds ago. Again, I showed you the baseline. And look at it now. It reaches around 80 degrees it doesn't go higher the fans will start to ramp up on the laptop and this will be the, the actual baseline now while this is going i will talk a bit more about those presets so if you go on battery saver you will lose a lot of performance but it's going to give you the lowest temperature and the lowest power consumption however i do not recommend you use this preset now balanced is what I recommend. But if you go on performance, and I will show it to you once we reach the temperature, if you go on performance, you are gonna get more performance. Balanced, you get a bit less CPU performance than in stock, but that frees up thermal headroom for your graphics card in your laptop. So that effectively increases your performance because they have a heatsink in common. So again, use balanced. But if you wanna go over and use performance, that's gonna give you exactly the same performance as at stock, exactly the same performance, but running approximately 10 degrees lower. Balanced, it's gonna run 20 degrees lower. As you can see, it's stabilized at 79 degrees. So we dropped over 20 degrees, okay? I will show you what performance does, okay? Just hit on performance, and now it will immediately apply it. And as you can see, we jumped up to around 94 degrees, and our score, well, it slightly increased, but it didn't really increase. But still, as you can see, it's ramping back down. It will stabilize to around 90 degrees and it's gonna be better than stock. So if you really want the most performance ever for the CPU, hit performance. But if you're gaming, please use balanced, okay? You can either do this as every time as you start the laptop, or you can set this thing to start on system boot and start to minimize and save settings. This way it will do it automatically for you. And the tutorial is over. Just download the software, use the presets. They have already optimized the algorithms. They have uh, basically automated what I usually tell you to do on the page. So we don't even have to do it. We just have to click on the right thing. So please do this. Let me know, it's gonna work perfectly. Ryzen 5, 5600H. Ryzen 7, 5800H. Ryzen 9, 5900H, I think they're called. So. It's gonna work for everything, work perfectly, try it, let me know, drop a like, drop a sub, bye.